What's up guys, it's Ken, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is going to be episode 3 of the Ultimate Instagram Guide, where we're going to be talking about the best apps for editing photos and videos for your Instagram account. So I invite you to stick around if you're interested in knowing how to edit your pictures the best way possible. Before I show you guys the best apps and my favorite apps to use to edit your pictures, I would love for you guys to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram because after all this is an Instagram guide, you guys should totally go to my Instagram, follow me, and support my content over there on the gram. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I've opened up my phone and now I'm going to scroll to the section where I have all of my photo and picture editing apps. And here you can see an overview of all the apps that I use to edit my pictures and my Instagram videos. I'm going to show you every app in depth, so we're going to hop into every one of them. And let's start off with the first one. I actually have them in order of best for me, and just like the ones that I use the most, I have them all in order. The first one, as you can see, is VSCO. That's the one that I definitely use the most. I've been using VSCO for so, so long, for years now, and it's definitely the best app for editing pictures, and it's free. Most of the filters and the options are free. There is another option that you could buy more filters and more tools to edit, but with the free version is amazing. You could do everything that you need to do. Over here you have a little sneak peek of the pictures that I'll be editing for next week's video because next week I want to do a how I edit my pictures video so you guys should definitely subscribe to my channel because you won't want to miss that. This is actually the thumbnail of this video, the picture that I used for the thumbnail. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of an overview of what you could do. All of these filters in the bottom are free and you have, I think there's like 20 free filters. The ones with the little circle in the corner, those you have to buy with like a little expansion pack. Um, but yeah, it has the filters, it has all of these editing options, which in my opinion, I don't really use the filters that much. Um, I haven't used the filters in months. Um, I've just been using the tools and like making my own filter, which that is something that you could do if you click on the little round arrow. Here, you could like save a preset, which is amazing. If you do buy the app, save, then you can save multiple presets, which is really a really nice thing. And for me, VSCO is the best one because that is the one that I always gravitate to the most and it's always the first app that I use when I edit my pictures. When I edit my pictures, I use multiple apps and VSEO is always the basic one, the first one that I import my pictures to. So definitely you should you guys should download VSEO right now. Moving on to app number 2 in my list of best my top favorite editing apps is Unfold and Unfold is actually more for your Instagram stories is like the perfect minimalistic stories for your Instagram. Like if you want to have a minimalistic, really crisp, really nice and edgy Instagram stories, definitely download on Unfold. Here you have the basic classic free pack. There is an art pack, that's the new one that I just downloaded and it looks really nice, it looks really cool. And you can just like import pictures, I'm gonna import, let me see. Ooh, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. See, you could just like do stuff like that. I've only purchased one pack, which is FF1, and it has like a lot of Polaroids and like retro pictures. It's really, really cool. Um, one that I really like is this one, the four. And you could just like put like four images. I'm gonna show you. See? That's really cool. That's awesome. You also have the option for text and you could like write stuff. I'm going to show you that. See, it has option for text. It has picture and text, which is amazing. And Unfold is just really the best one for me for Instagram stories. Moving on to Facetune, which is the third one in my list. And Facetune. Facetune is very famous. A lot of celebrities use it. A lot of 
big YouTubers, influencers use it. And this is where you can go crazy like editing your face. It's like a Photoshop for your phone. Cause it's so, it's so easy to use. And it's just like to mold your face better, to reshape, retouch your face, um, the background. It's like really, really nice for that. So let's just import a picture so I can show you. Okay, so my picture is imported to Facetune. Facetune, you could do some whitening, you could do some smoothing, smoothing out. That tool is really nice. Um, detailing, reshape is the one that I'm very guilty of using a lot. Uh, well, I don't use it that much. I used to use it a lot in my hair when I used to have relaxed straight hair. Then I used to use it a lot to like reshape my hair and make it look better in pictures. But right now, I'm just gonna give you a little example of what you could do with Facetune reshaping. We're just gonna make my arms a little bit bigger. But like, make it look natural. And make my chest a little bit bigger as well. Okay, look at my arm, it looks super big. See the difference? Oh, it looks, it's looking a little bit flat right here. Okay, that looks so much better. See? This is the magic of Facetune. And you could do so much more with Facetune, really. But I just use it like to reshape some stuff sometimes. That's pretty much it, what you could do in Facetune. Like I said, I use Facetune a lot to like reshape hair, reshape body parts or something like that, or like retouch your face. So it's great for that. I Facetune, I forgot to mention that it's not free. It's the only app that I have here that isn't free completely. I did purchase that one. I think it was like $4 on the app store. App number four is the one that I've been using so much lately. Like for the past three months, I've been using this app for every single Instagram picture. Like I import my picture in VSCO and then I import it to the Tessa app. The Tessa app has four free filters that are absolutely amazing. They have a lot more filters, but they're not free. It has four free filters, which is Fresh, Vintage, Mood, and Inspire. Other than the four free filters that the Tessa app offers, it also has some editing, the, the typical editing options and tools. What I use mostly in this app is the four free filters and also the incredible dust that it offers. It, it has a ton of options for dust, but it only has one free option, which is the one that I always use because I don't, I didn't buy the app. Um, but with that one is sufficient for me and it does great. So here it has the white option for the dust or a black option. For this picture, like it's very white, I would use the black option so the dust can pop and it just gives it that like extra vintage touch, which I really like, especially, especially for my Instagram account because I'm all about that retro and vintage life. So this fifth one is actually one that's not that famous and I use a lot, but I don't see people using it like at all. I've never seen anybody else that has this app. And this is the Beauty Plus app. This app is really good. It's like a Facetune kind of VSCO type of vibe. Like it has, I don't know, like 50 free filters and there is some options that you have to buy. So let's grab the same image that we've been using for this video and I can show you what it offers. So it has the auto, like it auto edits your picture. I've never used that, like sometimes it does really weird things in any app, not just this one. But it has this smoothing app, which that's the one that I use the most. Like if you don't have the smoothest face, then you could just add the smooth and it works really good. It has the auto smooth, but you could take that off and you could go manual and just retouch the, retouch the bits that you want to. Dark circles, I usually, this is, this is the one that I use the most, dark circles, because sometimes my underbags are looking rank. And let me show you the filters. So you go to the three little circles, there you can see all the thousands of filters that it has. It doesn't have thousands, but it has a lot of them. And I just have to download them because I haven't downloaded all of them, just the ones that I use. I don't really use the filters in this app, but yeah, I just use it more for your 
for my dark circles and whitening. Next app that I have is Pixar. This is, I think like the third one that I use the most. When I wanna take my edit to the next level, like make it extra vintage or just make it pop out more. With Pixar, I also have the free version. There is a version that you could buy, but I'm not about that. So I could, I could do great stuff just with the free version. And it has some really cool effects. And Pixar, like I said, I use it more for really heavy edits. It has effects, it has tons of, of effects, really cool effects. Some you have to buy, but it has really nice effects. It also has tools where you could like go in depth and edit the background, yourself, your skin. It has beauty, that's where you can actually edit your skin, your eye colors, and that's really fun to do. It has a bunch of stickers and really cool stickers, like really cool stickers that you can add to your pictures, which is really nice. You can add text, add another picture, you can like add it. You can't really see it in this picture because it's white, but you can add like things on top like an overlay like really cool effects and it has frames and a lot of more stuff but let's move on to the next next app is snapseed snapseed i don't use it that much but it is a key element to my photo editing <laughs> snapseed has filters as well but what i use it mostly is for the tools it has really nice tools especially the healing tool which is the one that i use the most when I want to eliminate something in the background or I want to eliminate a little um, mark. So I'm just gonna eliminate this and there, it's gone. See, it's super easy to use. Like I'm just gonna take my freckles out so you guys can see. And yeah, it just removes some stuff. It's really good at removing stuff. And out of all the apps that offer this same tool of eliminating your spots and your pimples and acne, for me, Snapseed has the best options. And as you can see, Snapseed has a ton of other options and tools, but I don't really use any of them. I should really use them more because they're really good. The next one that I have is Film, Film, F-I-L-M-M. This app was actually created by Zoella, which is the really famous YouTuber, Zoe Sug. She created that app in partnership with some other people. So Film is actually the only app that I have on my phone right now that is for editing videos and it's doing and it does an amazing job. It also has the timestamp on the side which I really like. It has the logo as well. If you buy the full pack, the full version and all the filters and all the editing options, then you can eliminate that watermark, that film watermark, but I like it, so I just leave it there and I don't really need to buy the app. You could trim the video, you could add some filters, some really cool filters, really cool vintage looking filters, like grainy, and it, you could also add some light leaks and dust, which is a really nice, a really nice option. But again, most of the options, you have to buy it. That's the only downside for that, but it's a really cool app. You guys should totally check it out. So those are the best apps, my favorite apps that I use for editing my pictures and editing my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a really big thumbs up. And I hope I helped you guys out if you're looking for that app that you've been looking for to edit your pictures the best way possible and create really cool edits with these apps. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, click the bell, be notified when I upload a new video, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because again, this is an Instagram series. I'll be uploading a lot more Instagram content here on YouTube. This is the ultimate Instagram guide where I help you guys improve your Instagram accounts and just have awesome content on your Instagram. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.